Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find the kernel of a group homomorphism. We are given that a mapping phi from M2 star, which is a group of 2 by 2 invertible matrices, to M2 star again. The mapping is given by ABCD sent to 1101 times ABCD times 1101 inverse. We are really showed that earlier that this is a group homomorphism. Now we're going to find what is the kernel of this mapping. Now, what is the kernel means? We can refer to John Fairline's text, a first course in abstract algebra, section 13, page 129. Let phi be a mapping from G to G prime, and suppose this is a group homomorphism. Then the subgroup consists of x in G, such that image of x equal to E, the identity in G prime, is a kernel of phi, and is the noted kernel of phi here. So having not done this, now let's identify what is our G now. The G is M2 star, the group of 2 by 2 invertible matrices, G prime also M2 star. The identity element in this case is 1, 0, 0, 1. 2 by 2 identity matrix under matrix multiplication. So in this case, the element in G consists of A, B, C, D. Image of X now becomes an image of A, B, C, D. And it's equal to identity 1, 0, 0, 1. And image of A, B, C, D we know that this is equal to M2 star now. So 1, 1, 0, 1 multiplied by A, B, C, D multiplied by 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1 is I want to find out what is A, B, C, D. So the way to do this is multiply on the left by 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse. So I multiply on the left by 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse. So they become this term. And also multiply on the right and multiply by 1, 1, 0, 1. Do the same thing for the left hand side. I have on the left multiply by 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse. And then multiply by identity. Then multiply by 1, 1, 0, 1. So the set A, B, C, the set contains A, B, C, D in this manner. But we notice that if you multiply 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse and 1, 1, 0, 1, you're going to get identity. And this will be identity as well. So we notice that a times A inverse, we know it's identity, or A inverse times A is identity here, which is 1, 1, 0, 1. And identity times A, or A times identity, give you back A again. So we can make use of this information. So the kernel in this case consists of A, B, C, D, belong to invertible 2 by 2 matrix, and uh, 101 1, inverse and 1101 1, 1 is identity 101 0, 0, 1, multiplied by A, B, C, D, and this is 101 0, 0, 1 again, identity. And then on the second term, on the right hand side, I have 101 1, 1 inverse. Identity multiplied by 1, 1, 0, 1 has no effect. 
So this I'll give you back one one zero one. And one one zero one inverse and one one zero one is identity. Uh, identity multiplied by any matrix has no effect at all. So this consists of A, B, C, D belong to two by two invertible matrix. All right, the left hand side is A, B, C, D now. The right hand side. A inverse sum A is equal to identity, which is 1, 0, 0, 1. Therefore, the kernel of, of the mapping now, kernel of E in this case, is actually consists of only one element, 1, 0, 0, 1, the identity. This concludes the kernel of the group homomorphism.